Cancer knocked me down, but not out. Now, I'm cancer free. The recovery, it's been tough. I'll need patience, a lot of humor. <laughs> I don't even have a rider. And support from friends and family. Over the last two years, I haven't played much golf, but there's no better place to get back in the game than on 66 courses in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. We're keeping score, but just teeing it up means I've already won. I'm gonna show y'all the best par you've ever seen after that one. Join me on my journey to break par. Wrap up our time with the big cats with a par three. This hole at Lions Paul plays to another peninsula green, only this time you got some turf separating you from the flagstick. Just one bunker on the front left to contend with besides the water, and we got a chance to get one close with a well struck iron. We're in Sunset Beach, North Carolina, one of the prettiest places on the face of the planet, and this is Ocean Ridge Plantation four golf courses here, all named after the big cats. We've got courses named after Tiger, Leopard, Panther, and this one right here, this is Lion's Paw. It was designed by the old master himself, Willard Bird. It's the most classic of the four golf courses here. When you play this golf course, you see a lot of water features with that crushed oyster shell around it. And this is the par 317th. I got about 180 yards today. I like the way that the hole is framed with a bunker, a big peninsula here. Let me see if I can wait for it, wait for it. Pull the thorn out of the lion's paw. <laughs> I don't even have a rider. I came up with that all myself. Be right. That one right there makes me roar! <laughs> See, I got this thing going on with the crew. It's Kyle and Christian today. And I know I'm funny because other people laugh at me, but those two, they just won't laugh at me. I did the lion's paw, I did the roar. Maybe they just need some coffee or something. Hit that pretty good. I'm gonna bring my fishing pole next time I come out here. This gotta be loaded with bass in here. And I'm just in the fringe. I got this one. I'm gonna take a little seven iron here. I'm gonna use my putting grip. I'm gonna pull the handle a little vertical and we'll try and hit this ball a little towards the toe with a putting stroke. Land it just on the green and have it roll in the hole. And not in the right edge or the left edge, dead center. I'm not gonna be happy unless it goes dead center. Mm. All right. I hadn't practiced my chipping in like 30 years. Maybe that's what I'll go do right now. Nah, probably not. All right. We may be done with the big cats, but our wildlife journey continues, folks. This time we're trading mammals for reptiles with our next stop. You don't want to miss this one. 